inspired me today at Priestfield Tram Stop on the West Midlands Metro. Sunday the 17th September 2023, the extension to Wolverhampton Station is finally open. And today we're going to be starting our journey from Priestfield and we're going to Wolverhampton Station, calling at the only tram stop on the way, Piper's Row. So how we got long to wait for the tram, it's actually due very shortly, I think it's like three minutes or so. But the trams today are going to Wolverhampton Station and not Wolverhampton St George's. Also to note that I did say Piper's Row was the only intermediate stop from Priestfield towards Wolverhampton Station. That's a lie because there's the Royal as well, but I'm not stopping at that tram stop. So when I catch this tram, I'm actually going straight to Piper's Row. So it should be arriving any second now to take us to the first of the new tram stops we shall look at. extension this second. It feels surreal because I always know the West Midlands Metro to be from A to B but now it's from A to B and plus C as well. So we have now made it to the next tram stop and the only intermediate tram stop between the Royal and Wolverhampton station. This is Piper's Row and it's right next door to Wolverhampton bus station and also it's very close to Wolverhampton St George's tram stop as well. We will time that in a second to see how long it actually takes. Also heard on the tram because I did mention that Wolverhampton St George's is closed. I think it's over six weeks though what I've heard. So I think after the six weeks they go into great services between Wolverhampton St George's and Wolverhampton Station. But Piper's Row is a staggered tram stop, does have two platforms and it just has the basic facilities like benches and that about it to be honest. But it just feels strange that there's finally a branch off the West Midlands Metro now and also a damn bus at Bolsma Shot. So what I'm going to do now is walk it from Piper's Row to Wolverhampton St George's and see how long it actually takes. So I'm going to hit the start now and we're going to start walking. Let's see how long this takes. And we're going to press stop now. Now, yes, it does take about two minutes here, but I think it takes about one minute 50 just to get onto the tram stop platform. So I give yourself roughly about two minutes to reach Wolverhampton St. George's tram stop for Piper's Road. So we have made it back to Piper's Row and the next tram is about to come in shortly to take us to the final stop, Wolverhampton Station. So we're just going to board it now and head to Wolverhampton Station.
So right behind me here is Wolverhampton Railway Station. You can change here for National Rail Services. Now the tram stop is a very short walk from the railway station, probably only like a minute or so, but the tram stop is actually just right behind me here now. And it's just got the one platform, and it's also got benches, just your basic facilities here. But also, this is now the current terminus of the West Midlands Metro. But the line from the Royal to Wolverhampton Station, it actually cost about 50 million. That's a lot of money, to be honest. But I think that's because they had to resurface the road, the signalling. I think there's a lot of stuff for that, to be honest. But I can't believe it actually cost 50 million just to build that short extension from the Royal to this stop right here. So right behind me here there's a poster that says our network is growing and to be honest the West Midlands Metro is growing. Like there's going to be future projects with new lines opening up very soon I'm looking forward to riding them as well. But the Wolverhampton station extension has really been brilliant to ride on. Okay it's only got one intermediate stop between the Royal and Wolverhampton station but honestly it has really been nice for riding down a new extension of the West Midlands Metro. There's going to be another video popping up right here now. If you haven't watched the Ed Bastion opening extension yet, feel free to give that a click. The people on screen now, YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters, thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Simon Trace. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on board for the Cyber Express for a new video down the line.